oops, I forgot to record. Here we go. We're gonna call our first point x1, y1, okay? And we're gonna call our second point x2, y2. Write that down. x1, y1, x2, y2. And if you wanna do Dakota's method to keep it straight, your x's are gonna stay together and your y's are gonna stay, ooh, that was weird. Your y's are gonna stay together. I think you can do it. You are capable. All right, so if we're gonna set this up in the distance formula, here's what we got. This is your setup, okay? You start with your radical symbol. I like to do this. I like to set it up with nothing in it at first um, because here's the deal. This formula is always subtraction, right? This right here, this minus is here. This minus is here, but in the middle is addition. So if you set it up like this to start every single time, you'll be in pretty good shape. Okay, let's drop some numbers in. So we have x2 minus x1. What is your x2 value? Four. Four. What's your x1 value? Negative seven. Negative seven. Okay, but look, there's a minus there. That's not our negative for our seven. We are subtracting negative seven. Okay, so make sure it's four minus negative seven. Now go to your y values. What's gonna go right here? What is your y2 value? Um, negative three and minus five. what? Five. Minus five, okay? If you can get to this point, you've won half the battle already, okay? Um, because usually where most of the mistakes are made are in plugging it in. But I'm going to show you another, excuse me, stop talking. Just listen. I'm going to show you another spot where a lot of mistakes get made. Okay, here it is. Now, when we take this and we simplify it, we're going to do this piece all simplified. What is minus a negative? Positive. Plus a positive. So we're going to go plus a positive there, right? Whenever you see minus a negative, you turn it into plus a positive. If you don't love that, don't turn it into plus, plus a positive. Plug it into your calculator. Plug in four minus negative seven. It will give you the right answer every time, okay? Um, so four plus seven, that is 11 squared. You don't have to put parentheses around that, but I'm gonna put parentheses around it every time because of this next one, I'll show you. So that's 11 squared plus, what is this? The second chunk there, the Y chunk. Negative three minus five. What is that? Eight. Uh, two. What? That's a positive. Negative three minus five. Uh, two. Negative, negative eight. Negative eight. Okay. Now here's the deal. People see that. And then they put into their calculator negative 8 squared. Plug that into your calculator right now. Plug in negative 8 squared. It's not an error, but plug it in. Plug it in. When you plug in negative 8 squared, what does it tell you? Negative 64. Okay, now listen. That's because it says negative 64 because your calculator thinks you're saying, Forrest, the opposite of 8 squared. We're not saying the opposite of 8 squared. We're saying the opposite of 8 squared, right? So you have to make sure you put parentheses around that negative 8. Plug that into your calculator. Parenthesis, negative 8, parenthesis squared. What do you get? Positive 64. Okay, so hear me right now. Here's the difference. This is negative 64. That's not wrong. 
as saying the opposite of 8 squared, the opposite of 64 is negative 64, right? This is a positive 64. This is the one you want to plug in. You must put parentheses around a negative, okay? Because negative 8 times negative 8, a negative times a negative is always positive. This one is saying 8 squared is 64. Now take the opposite of it, which would be a negative 64, mm. right? So we're not multiplying two negatives if the negative is out in front by itself. It's like this, okay? If I have negative 8 squared, that's saying 8 times 8, that's 8 squared, but take the opposite of it, right? If I have this, that's saying negative 8 times negative 8. Do you see the difference? Yeah. So in the parentheses, it should always become positive because you're doing a negative times a negative. Okay. 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 So now here, what's 11 squared? Do you know that off the top of your head? Max, do you know 11 squared? No. Truett, no, do you know 11 squared? 11 squared. 21. Um, so 121, what's negative 8 squared? By itself, 11 wait, times 11. That's only, wait, 11 squared is only 21. Oh, 121. 121. I was pretty close. Um, so negative 8 squared, that's a positive 64. So you add those together. This would be 185. And then do you know how to plug that in on your calculator? Get your calculator out real fast if you don't have it right now. You're going to hit second, and then it's the x squared button, I believe. So second, x squared, and then 185. What do you get? 13 point, yeah, we'll do nearest tenth. So 13.6 would be to the nearest tenth, okay? Questions on that? Lined up. Um, it's not a calculator. You have a calculator. You should have a calculator. Yep, that's a calculator. Okay. Put it back in soon. Um, questions on that so far? Okay. Um, then last thing. This one says you have this zip line course. Have you guys ever been zip lining? Yes. Oh my word, most fun thing I've ever done. It was so fun. Um, so to get from platform B, I went on a zip line that was a mile long. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, my son gets to go this year. Oh yeah. I, I might get to go with them. Like There's field trips. Zoology goes on field trips. Okay. Um, this last one, I want to know, shh, come back. I want to know the distance between point B and point C. Okay. True it. Stop talking. Um, where is point B? Can you name it? There's nothing bad about Dort. It's a wonderful school. Negative 30. Negative 20. Okay, that's point B. Where is point C? Where's C? So we got to go back to here. Where is that? I know where it is. I just need a second to write it down. So 5, 10... 15, right? Negative 15. Positive what? Positive 10. Negative 15, positive 10. Okay. I want to know the distance between those two points. So take the distance formula. 
You don't need to rewrite this again. You have it in your notes right above, but if you want to rewrite it, you're welcome to. Okay, can anyone tell me of those four things, X2, X1, Y2, and Y1, what you would like to call negative 30? Uh, X1. X1, okay. If we're gonna call that one X1, then what's negative 20? Y1. Y1. Okay, um, that makes negative 15 what? X2. X2 and 10 y2. is Y2. Y2. Okay, so again, if you want to go with Dakota's thing here, your X's should be together and your Y's should be together, All right? Okay, so if we're going to plug that in, it's going to be the square root of what comes first? Negative 15. Negative 15. Um, do you think you'll set it up with my like minuses, squareds, all of it before you plug numbers in? Yeah. Okay, let's do that then. So if we set it up with all the blanks, right? It's going to look like that to start without the negative 15 in there. So you drop the negative 15 in. What goes here? Negative 30. Okay. Psst. You should be writing this down. Um, what's going to go here? 10. 10, your y2. And then what goes here? What's your y1? Y1? Negative 20. Yeah, this one up here. Okay, now the tricky part. How do we break that down? Um, like I said, I would figure out what goes inside of here. And if you want, try to plug that into your calculator right now. Negative 15 minus a negative 30. Plug it in. What do you get? Negative 15 minus negative 30 is not negative 45. Plug it into your calculator. It should be a positive 15, right? Negative 15. Do you guys know where the negative is, by the way? Yeah. It's not the minus sign. Make sure that's, because if you try to go minus, minus, it's going to say syntax error. It's going to say you did something wrong. So make sure you use the little syntax is like the setup of it can't happen. Well, it's, it's the syntax of it. It's the order of it. It just means error. Yeah, error. Just, well, they want you to know what kind of error. It's an error in your setup. Um, all right, so when you simplify this, negative 15 minus a negative 30, if you want to simplify it this way, plus a positive 30. So that's 15 squared. Okay, now plug this one in. 10 minus a negative 20. 10 minus negative 20. What do you get? 30. 30 squared. Okay, now you plug it in again. 15 squared is what? What's 15 squared? Fifteen squared. Two twenty-five. Thank you. What's thirty squared? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to square a number on your calculator too? This little x squared button. You just hit three zero, and then that x squared, it'll square it for you, so you don't have to go 30 times 30. Yeah? Um, whoa, 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 whoa. I think we all have those other calculators. No, you have those buttons, though. You have the same buttons. This one. So if you go three zero, square, 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 square,
Thank you. Um, okay, so add that together. 225 plus 900 is 1125. Okay, now plug this into your calculator. You know how to take the square root? Go second. And then that X squared button again. Plug it in. Where are all your calculators? Plug it in. Why is it zip code? 33.54. 33.54. Let's verify. Ooh, not the natural log of that. 33.5. Okay. Questions on that? 